Score brought to you by Bob of Human Network sponsored by Byron's Games. Today we're down we're at we're in downtown Chicago at the Slurping Turtle and we and today we are meeting Rob Hafer. Rob, tell us about yourself. My name is Rob Hafer. Um, I was born and raised in Chicago. I'm currently the executive chef at Slurping Turtle Restaurant, as he mentioned. We're right in the middle of River North in downtown Chicago. Okay. I've been cooking for about 20 years. That's a lot. Yeah, this is my ninth restaurant. It's a lot of restaurants. Why did you want to be a chef? Well, you know, I grew up in a Sicilian Italian family, so we always cooked. Always. Mom always cooked dinner when we got home from school. And every holiday, we had every single relative over. And okay. we cooked a whole bunch of food all the time. So I kind of just was raised cooking. I'm also Italian. Are you? Uh-huh. Um, why do you do Japanese cooking? Well, I really think, you know, I've cooked pizza and I've cooked hamburgers and I've cooked bar food and you know along the times when I was actually learning how to cook I really gained a lot of skills with knives and technical skills and I think Japanese food is probably the most technically driven culinary there is yeah so it was kind of you know it's kind of exciting for me to use a lot of technique when I'm cooking rather than just you know throw a bunch of stuff in a pot and cook. okay cool uh, the other day we went to a Japanese place where they cook in front of you. Mm hmm The hibachi. The hibachi. Yeah, they do all the flips and they yeah, make the, the noises and, and stuff, stuff like yeah. that. That part is pretty cool. Yeah. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a favorite dish that you make? Well, really right now I'm really obsessed with doing uh, maki and sushi. What's maki and sushi? Well, have I you had sushi, sushi before? Is. So maki is, you know when you have a sushi roll? Uh -huh. Well, in Japanese culture that's called a maki roll. This is actually the owner of the restaurant, the inspiration for the restaurant that it was open. His name's Takashi Yagahashi. Takashi Yagahashi, okay. And he was born in Japan and he moved to the United States when he was 21. What advice do you have for kids that are hesitant? Try new well, my mom always said whenever I was hesitant to try new food, her first response was, it's not going to kill you. No, it's right. not. And think about all the other stuff you do that's adventurous, like jump off of the top of the ladder at the playground, yeah. jump off the swing, uh -huh. spin around as fast as you can, uh -huh. you know, yeah. all those things are going to hurt you. Yeah. But trying a new food won't. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good point. Is it true that you were on an episode of Chopped? I was on an episode of Chopped. Uh, what did you do on Chopped? Back in November of 2015, I was the runner-up. I lost because I didn't get to the ice cream machine fast enough. I made some really cool stuff. I made popcorn crusted chicken hearts. Cool. Would you eat that? I don't know. You don't know? I need to look at it first. Oh, it looks like a chicken nugget. Okay, yes, then. As long as I didn't tell you it was a chicken heart, you'd probably like it. My mom used to do that to me all the time, too. I'd eat, and she'd be like, I'll tell you what it is when you're done with it. And you'd eat the whole thing, and then she'd be like, oh, well, you just ate spinach pasta. And we're like, oh, you made us eat spinach pasta. <laughs> is that the thing? Spinach? It is. Spinach pasta? That sounds weird. What do you like most about being a chef? Well, I get to come to work every day and enjoy work. Okay. Because I really like to cook. Mm -hmm. And it's really fun to make food for people and to see the happiness that people get when they eat good food. Mm -hmm. And so to have the ability to do that every day and also get paid for it is really lucky for me. Is being a good chef about being a good cook? Well, there's a lot more to being a chef than just being a good cook. Mm -hmm. um, we have to do ordering and inventory and labor control and cost control. Okay. There's a lot more to it than just being able to cook. But if you're the, but if you're a bad chef, then you don't do that stuff. I think you can be a good cook and not be a good chef. But in order to be a good chef, being a good cook is part of it. Uh huh. Okay. So there's a big difference. So. Well, that's, is that a roll of pasta? This is a roll of dough. Pasta dough. But then you have to cook it afterward, right? Yep. 
This is just to make the strands. So that's gonna go right there, okay. actually. Let's uh, put it on this one. Okay. Okay. We're gonna take this end of the dough. Okay. We're gonna put it through this crack here and we're gonna start it right in there. You see it? Yep, now it's just kinda coming through. Okay, now we're gonna hit the roller, the cutter start button. Go ahead, hit it. All right, there we go, hit stop. Okay, there was our first noodle. Right here, look how short it was. You want, you want them that short or you want them longer? Way longer than this. I know, I'm kidding. <laughs> look at this thing. So what happened there is that where we started it, the cutter was already there. Right? Yeah. So when so the next one, we go ahead and hit cutter start. Now watch, it's gonna come out. Chop. Chop. Now that's our full length noodle right there. Okay? Yep. So the first one is short, the second one is a little bit longer, and then this is how long we're making them right now. Alright, cool. That's kinda long. That's kinda long. Do you wanna do shorter uh, or longer? Maybe just a little bit shorter. Maybe just a little bit shorter. Okay, so see this dial right here? It yep. says short and long. So let's turn it to six. Six. Would that make it longer? Or That's going to make it shorter. It's weird. It's backwards. Yeah. Like one is long, one is long and, and nine, nine is short. Is short. So I don't, I don't get it either. It's backwards. But okay, so now this is going to cut. This one's going to be a weird shape. And then we're going to wait for the next one. And that's going to be how long our noodles are going to be. So that one's kind of short. Now this is our length. Okay. Right, what do we do with this now? So. You can I have now, one? Now, here's the hard part. You can okay. check those out. Yep. Okay, I got it. Yep. Now I want you to watch. I'm going to grab a couple. Uh -huh. And I want you to watch what I do. Hi. Now keep in mind, I'm not really that good at this either, okay? So you want to be better than me. Okay. But we're going to want to catch the noodle, right? Okay. Yeah. You're going to grab it, right? Yeah. You're going to catch it like this. Then you're gonna take your hand and go under and then flip it over. And then you gotta set it down. Okay? So here, watch me. I gotta sit on the floor because I'm way too tall. Okay? So go ahead and start it up for me. Cutter start. Cutter start. Okay, that's the bad one. So you grab it. Oh, we're really short. Hold on. There we go. Okay, see, I told you I'm not that good. So grab it, flip. Set it down. Grab it, flip, set it down. And when the noodles come, grab it, flip it, and set it down. Okay. Right? Okay. Remember, we're gonna let the first one fall. Okay, I'm gonna practice flipping it. Well, you can pray. You got it. It's okay. You got it. Just go for it, man. You ready? Uh huh. Okay. Wait, let, let that one fall. Oh, let, no. now, now you're ready. Go. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's kind of hard. Oh, whoa. You can grab it before it falls. Oh no. So grab it now. There you go. Flip, set it down. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. I think I'm doing this wrong. Ah! Okay, that, that one falls. <laughs> I can't talk. Ah! This is hard. Wow. You got it. So you have to do this every day. Yeah. Oh no! Hundreds of them. Oh my. We go through about 700 noodles a weekend. Romano noodles. Ramen noodles. All right. We made noodles. So, these are just like the noodles we just made. See her bundles? They're a little bit better than ours, right? Yeah, ours are kind of. She does them all day. So, see how they don't stick together, even though they were made yesterday? Uh-huh. That's because I said they're like half fresh, half dry. Yeah. So what we're gonna do here, because we're gonna set our timer. Remember, I said one minute and 15 seconds. Uh huh. So, this is a cooker made especially for pasta, for ramen noodles. So, we put it in the basket and we put it in the water. And then we're gonna start our timer. So, in that one minute and 15 seconds, then we're gonna get the soup part ready. Okay. So, will you go over there and grab me one of those red bowls? Perfect. So, we have this right here. This is called shoyu base. Shoyu means soy that? sauce in Japanese. Okay, so. So this is gonna flavor our broth. Remember I said this is just plain chicken stock. Uh-huh. But we're gonna add it to this and it's gonna make it taste like shoyu broth. 
So we got our soup in there now. And now we just wait 30 more seconds for the noodles to be ready. So we're gonna take it out. And we're gonna make sure we shake off all the extra water. And then we're just gonna put it in there. Okay, I'm gonna try chopsticks. All right, I got something cool. This is called a fun chop. Go ahead and get it out of there. Bing. A fun chop? Okay, yeah. This right here. Ah. That's easy mode. Alright, that's because I completely cannot use chopsticks. Well, and you can keep that too, and it'll whenever you use chop like if when you go to the hibachi place and they give you chopsticks, you can take that with you. It's really hot, so blow on it, okay? You can keep that one too. Well, professionally, uh, there's a lot of chefs that I look up to. Um, I like Gordon Ramsay. Okay. I like Takashi. I like my. Who's that guy? I like my executive chef Tadashi. Um, my mother. My mother's a great cook. Because uh, she's um, Italian. Because she's Italian. She's only half Italian. Oh, okay. But half Sicilian, so that's a, that's a half that counts, right? I heard your part Sicilian too. Uh, I'm a quarter. I'm from Italy, I'm from Abruzzo, Molise, Sicily, and Calabria, okay? There you go. You ever had a Calabrian pepper? Uh, They're no. so good. They're no. so good. Okay, um, cool. Yeah, but I have a lot of heroes, a lot of chefs. I got a lot of people that I look for inspiration. Nobu, Morimoto, there's a lot of names. Lots of these are Japanese. They are. Okay, if you could go back in time and give yourself one piece of advice as a kid, what would it be? How far back do I get to go? Um, I don't know. You decide. Okay. I would go back to when I first started cooking, and I would tell myself to move to Japan. Okay. Did you? I didn't. What was one of the hardest things you ever went through, and how did you get through it? I think professionally one of the hardest things that I went through was actually deciding what I was going to do with the rest of my cooking career. Okay. And that took a lot of thought and a lot of mind changing to decide that I was gonna get on the path of Japanese food and be the best at just that. Okay. And not spread myself out and try all these different things, but just get on the rails and completely concentrate on Japanese. the food and the culture of Japanese food and just dedicate myself to that. Okay, when you're not cooking, what do you eat? When I'm not cooking, I like to eat Japanese food. <laughs> no, but I, I love tacos. I love tacos and pizza and um, sandwiches, like big deli sandwiches. Uh, my my fiance, she makes this really good lentil soup. Lentil soup? To die for. So I eat that a lot. Okay. I like everything. Okay, cool. What skills do you need to be a good chef? I think one of the biggest skills uh, to be a good chef is that you really have to want it. And you really have to be willing to learn um, from multiple different people and multiple different styles. So I don't think necessarily, I think the skills will come, but you have to initially have the dedication to decide that that's what you want to do and put your heart into it. Thank you for watching Learn and Explore. Sponsored by Vibrant Games, brought to you by Lava Pima Network. Thank you, Rob. You're very welcome. Kids, you can check us out at slurpingturtle.com. Bye. If you're watching from the hospital, keep your chin up. We're thinking about you and hope you get better soon. I got it in my eye, and it's really hot. It's really good. 